Hi, welcome back. So now that our application is done, we can actually uh, bundle it up and uh, deploy it to Firebase. So let's do that. We could, um, first of all, we could build it out and test it first. Because sometimes there's production errors that you don't foresee. So what we're gonna do in the app, in the terminal, we're gonna run npm run build, which is a script that comes already ready in uh, create react app applications. Now it's going to build it to this uh, build folder. All right, now that it's built, so everything is here, the static files and everything, uh, we could CD into that. And I have this package, uh, this tool called uh, uh, live server, and you could just run live server in that directory. And we get a problem. <laughs> and the problem is the server responded with status 404. Oh, okay. So what it's trying to do is trying to get the, um, it's trying to get, I've, I've run into this. I forgot to fix this. It's trying to get our resources from local host from the same, um, dom um, origin. And the problem is like our proxy only works in development. So we can, we need to actually set up a way to tell Axios to always send requests to this instead of the, um, local, not local host or the machine's IP. So here in app.js, I'm just going to say, um, here axios.defaults.base URL equals, and we just give it this URL. And this should fix that problem. So let's again build it. PM run build. All right, let's run it again. Cool, it works. We get our data, no errors, and um, we get the users. Can even like go to the users page and the users page doesn't work. Oh, okay, we get a um, cross origin uh, error. So this is a course error. Actually, this is my bad. This is from the server. Uh, let me fix that right now, actually. So in the functions, and if you've done only the React part, then don't worry, I'll fix this and it will it should work for you. If you've done your own functions, then go to index.js in your functions directory and here, actually, let's go into functions. We need to install um, something called course. So npm install course, which just adds some headers uh, that tell our uh, application that you can give these resources to any anyone that requests them. So now that it's installed, here we can say const course equals require course like this. And we just need to tell our express app to use this middleware. So here we say course use, and we just, I mean app use, and we pass course and we call it here like a function. So let's save, and uh, let me deploy these functions. So Firebase deploy. Okay, now that it's done installing, or deploying rather, we could reload our app. Seems to get the user's details. Okay, it was just some, Sometimes when you deploy on Firebase, it takes some time for the code to work and it works a bit weird at the beginning. All right, so everything works and fine. I can log in. So let's try to log in here just to make sure that everything works. And I do log in, everything is fine, cool. Let's actually deploy it to Firebase. Now you go to Firebase, go to your app. And if you don't have an app, you can uh, create a new one. You can go back to part two of this series and you, uh, there we set up Firebase tools and, uh, and everything related to that. Go to hosting and I've already enabled it because I've already tested to host. You know, I don't want to have like some problems on the video even though I already had a couple. So you could just click enable and it will work. And let's go to our app here. Let's stop the development server or like the live server. Go to the uh, root directory. And here we're gonna initialize a Firebase app. So let's do Firebase init, just like we did for our cloud functions. Here, let's say yes, I wanna proceed. And here we wanna use the hosting, so space on hosting and press enter and select this app. Do you want to use, no, actually we don't want to use the public, we want to use the build directory. That's where our build files are. So we say build, Configure single page app, yes, we say to this. It already exists, overwrite, yes, overwrite it. Cool. So we've already built our app, we could just run Firebase uh, deploy. 
And if you want to make any change, you just make your change and you uh, run npm run build, you build your um, your app and you just run um, Firebase deploy and you will deploy it. All right, so it's done deploying. This is the URL, I'll hit control and I click it. Oops. All right, there we go. So we get our application is deployed. Let's try to log in. All right, the login works, everything works. I can post the screen. Hello from deployed app, submit it, and it works, cool. All right, so this is deployed. So we're done with this project completely. Uh, guys, please, if any feedback, anything you wanna know, anything, any praise, uh, likes, subscribes, please um, feel free to. And uh, let me know in the comments if you, what you want me to do, like a video on any framework. I, I've got a bunch of video ideas right now, so feel free to like, um, you know, contribute. So thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.